Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and in this tutorial we're going to be going over the weapons mod menu. Uh, we'll be going over features such as what it does, what it replaces, and how to install it. And we'll just give you a quick guide. Now first, before we begin, there's two prerequisites to this, and you can look them up on the internet and find out how to install them. They are namely the MCM, which is the mod configuration menu, and New Vegas Script Extender, also known as NVSE. Both of those are prerequisites for this mod and are definitely needed. So let's get into the gameplay and we'll show you what it does. Okay guys, here we are in game. And you see I already have in my hand my favorite pistol, the Ranger Sequoia. There it is. And it is unmodded. Now in the old game, once you added a mod to a weapon, you couldn't take it off again. But with the weapon mod menu, you can go ahead and take mods off, put them back on, swap back and forth, and see what works best for you. So if you wanted to sell a weapon, but you want to keep the mod, you take the mods off, and you can sell the weapon. Okay, not all mods are interchangeable, but you get the point. So let's go ahead and open up our pit boy here. And you can see the Ranger Sequoia. And over on the right hand side, you can see a X. You hit X to open up the mod menu. And you can see I have two different mods ready to go. And there's at the bottom a third. See how it's grayed out? That means I don't have it on me. Now, it is an available mod. So you can, you know, look for it and try and get it. Like, let's say, let's go back to the. Remington 870 and look at that it only has two available mods so you can see with a grayed out section if there was one down here you know you you can get another mod for it but uh, let's go back and open the Ranger Sequoia again and it is simple as if you have the mod you can see over here on attach attach it and you can also remove it just that simple attach and we'll attach the long barrel and take a look at it again now that we have those mods attached see how I think it's so pretty uh, engraving on there and that much longer barrel so if I had the weapon or the revolver scope for it you can add that to it I personally don't like it like that so but that's there it is to it so if you go into your hit escape and go into that you can see the mod configuration that's what we we're talking about, the mod configuration menu. Hit that and you go over to weapon mod menu. There are only two options. If you play with a left-handed mouse, you can reverse the mouse buttons. And you can see there's another click box for all weapon mods visible. Remember we talked about the grayed out section. And you can either click that off. So you can only see the ones that you have available on your inventory. Or like I'd like to do it. I like to know what weapons I can get. So I like to see I what I have is available. So I leave that clicked. So we can go ahead and close that. And we're back in game. So there's that. I, I just love this game. So anyways, let's get back to the desktop. And we'll show you how to install this. Okay guys, here we are back at the desktop. And uh, we're going to show you how to install this. So we can go ahead and go to the Nexus mod page. You can see it here. This is the weapon mod menu. And uh, we go down and read this stuff. And basically it says requirements. Like I said, New Vegas Script Extender and the mod configuration menu. With this installation, you do not need the Fallout mod manager. I'll show you how to do this correctly. So we'll go to the files, which are right here. And it is going to be a download manually so you just go ahead and click this and you can see I've already put it on my desktop so there you go so what you're going to do is go into your Nexus mod manager now that you have that on your desktop ready to go or wherever you hide your files and you're going to add mod from file and we're going to be looking for my desktop and there it is right there the weapon mod menu you're going to have it and open that up Oops, so I click it first, doesn't it? Open that up. 
and there it is. You can see it pop right into the mod list, and you're going to go ahead and activate it. There you go. See, NVSE detected, menu fan detected, over it to install. That's what we need. Install. And you're going to click Yes to All. Mod was successfully activated. Now when you go over to your plugins, you're going to see it's at the bottom again. So we want to go ahead and change that. And I always suggest running loot just to be safe. We'll just close the Nexus Mod Manager. Now that that's done, you can throw away that RAR file. And we have loot ready to go right here. We'll sort plugins and let it do its work. Okay, there we go. And you can see, we'll just scan this real fast. Weapon mod menu, there it is. So it's been moved up. And that's kind of what we want. So we'll hit apply. Yeah, well, I'll read all that later. And we'll just hide that again. Go back into our Nexus mod manager. There we go. And you can see in the plugins section, Weapon mod menu has been moved. Uh, weapon mod, it's up here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Weapon mod menu, it's right there. So there you go. So that's it. It's a pretty simple install, actually, once you, uh, you know, get over the fact that you can't use Nexus Mod Manager to download it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and. My name is Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.